Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Don't Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about the NBA uh, media rights deal that's kind of gone through. As we know, if you have not been keeping up with the news, I've made a video on it in the past. TNT Sports is going to be losing their media rights to the NBA after the following season of the 2024-2025 season. The NBA is going to be signing a deal that's going to be going forward with Amazon. They're going to be signing, bring them on for like a decade-long deal. It's going to be a pretty much a change in like the way we watch basketball going forward. But the little nugget of information that's kind of interesting is TNT actually got overdone on the numbers by Amazon. Everybody was like, okay, this is it. TMT might be done. Charles Barkley announced that he's not going to be coming back if TNT goes away. And then recently, TNT bid in and matched the offer. So it's like, hey, if this is about money, we're giving you the same amount of money. And NBA actually came out and just said, yeah, no, we're going to pass. We don't want your money. We're going to take Amazon. So it's looking like TNT is going to be going away. So what I wanted to do in this video is a couple of things. Number one, the bulk of the video is going to be discussing the news, discussing what ex exactly is going on. Number two, discussing how this is all going to work. How is Amazon going to call the games? Is it going to be a good thing, bad thing for the NBA? How we are the fan base? can kind of watch the, our games, our favorite team's games. And then number three, just give my opinion. Is this going to, like I said, is it going to be a good thing, bad thing? How is this going to kind of work out for just the overall fan experience of watching? And pretty much lastly, remembering TNT Sports, Charles Barkley, Shaq, Kenny, Ernie. I'm going to miss those guys more importantly. So like I said, I'm going to just talk about it, give my opinion about the whole entire thing, and then just go from there. So without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling, and we're going to get straight into this. So if you go to enjoy it, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated to do so. But without further ado, Let's get into it. Now, as you can see here from this article from ESPN.com, this is whenever Warner Bros. Discovery or just TNT matched the offer with Amazon Prime. They matched the, uh, the whole thing. As it says here, they were pretty much Amazon Prime. They're actually in line to start broadcasting more games from NBA and also NFL, as we know with the Amazon Prime Thursday Night Football game. But then, like I said, this then came out literally not even, I think, a day or two later. Yeah, July 22nd to July 24th. And NBA is going to be renewing their deal with ESPN. They're going to be bringing NBC back, and they're also going to be bringing Amazon on to replace Walt uh, Disney and kind of like the whole way of TNT Sports. But as we can see here, it was a $1.8 billion per year offer that they were bidding into the NBA. And as it says here, the media rights deal were approved by the league's board of governors last week and will bring the league about $76 billion over those 11 years. Now, remember the part where I said the NBA got their offer from uh, NBC and Disney and everybody like that and Amazon, their offer got matched by TNT Sports and Warner Brothers. Uh, apparently, the NBA thinks they didn't, as it says here. Uh, WBD had five days to match a part of those deals and said it was exercising its right to do so, but its offer was not considered a true match by the NBA. That means that the 2024-2025 season will be the last for TNT after nearly a four-decade run, though not long after the signing was announced, WBD said it would take appropriate action, quote, and said it believes the NBA has to accept its offer. So the way WBD, basically TNT Sports and all of them are making this seem is NBA didn't give a fuck about your offer. They basically said, we want to go with NBC and NBC. You could have given them, as we see, $76 billion. You could have put it up to $90 billion, $100 billion. NBA probably would have just said, yeah, no, we're good. We're going to pass. We're going to go with them. Now, as it says here from Turner Sports, it says here Turner Sports strongly disagree with the NBA's move, saying it believes the league, quote, grossly misinterpreted our contractual rights, quote, quote, we have matched the Amazon offer as we have a contra our contractual right to do so and do not believe the NBA can reject it, quote. TNT Sports also said, quote, in doing so, they are rejecting the many fans who continue to show their unwavering support for our best in-class coverage delivered through the full combined reach of WBD's video first distribution platform. We will take appropriate action, quote. So the way it's kind of going is WBD, T uh, TNT Sports, they're trying to basically make a push to, to the NBA and be like, I understand you're taking their offer, but we gave you the same amount of money. The fans want us. They don't want whatever this Amazon and NBC are trying to give us. They like TNT Sports. They want it. They want to keep it. And you're just like trying to diss the fans when you're all about the fans. Remember that part of that, that all these commissioners, they always say, yeah, we're all about the fans. Bullshit, you are. I'll talk about the fans in a minute, but kind of talk about the way it's going to work. As I said, Disney, NBC, and Amazon are going to be taking over for the NBA uh, with everything going on. As we can see here from NBA rights, who gets what? This is kind of how the scheduling is going to work. As we can see, Disney slash ABC and ESPN, they're going to be like the A-team. They're going to be the guy or the crew 
that kind of call the games like the Mike Breen and all the other con commentators and color commentators and co casters. They're the ones that are going to be calling like the main games. As it says, they're going to continue broadcasting the NBA Finals. They're going to be like the main crew. They're going to get a total of 80 regular season games. So like your Tuesday night primetime, your Friday night countdown or whatever, maybe those games. They're also going to get all five Christmas Day games. They're going to get exclusive national coverage of the final day of the regular season. They're also going to get conference final series or the series of finals, whether it be Eastern Conference or Western Conference finals in 10 times in the agreements of the 11 years. Basically saying one of those years, NBC and Amazon are going to be getting both the Western Conference and Eastern Conference. NBC, which also is going to be NBC or Peacock, you can watch on either one. They're going to be getting up to 100 regular season games each season. They're also going to be getting the opening night doubleheader. They're also beginning, getting, going to be getting conference finals in six of the 11 years. So six out of the 11 years, you, at least one of the series are going to be on NBC slash Peacock. Starting in 2026, they're going to be getting the All-Star Weekend. They're also going to be getting the USA Basketball Senior Men's and Women's Games. I don't know if that counts for the Olympics or if they're just talking about like World Cups or like anytime the US men's teams or in women's teams are going to be like going around playing. Or NBC slash Peacock, they're going to be getting those games, which I think probably counts for the Olympics because it is on currently as we speak. And then with Amazon, they're going to be getting all six NBA play and tournament games. They're also going to be getting one third of games played in the first two rounds of the playoffs. They're also going to be getting conference finals in six of the 11 years. Like I said, Eastern Conference or Western Conference. They're also going to be getting a new game on Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving. And they're also going to be getting all the knockout rounds of the NBA Cup. Now, here's my thing with all this. Disney, ABC and ESPN. Love it. Everybody has ABC and ESPN on cable. Uh, NBC, everybody has NBC. Most people have NBC on cable. Peacock, you don't need it. As I said, NBC or Peacock, whichever one works for you. If you have NBC, boom, you're covered. With Amazon, you're basically saying, do you want to watch the playing tournament games? Let's say your team is good and they go to the playing tournament. Oh, wait, remember last year where we could watch on TNC Sports for free? Oh, yeah. Now you have to pay an extra $10 a month or $100, whatever, maybe a year to watch Amazon Prime. And then say your team is really good, uh, whether you be in the Eastern Conference or Western Conference Finals, you're going to be praying to God that if your team is like really good and they go to the Conference Finals, you're going to be sitting there saying, like, please give me ABC, please give me ABC, please give me ABC, because you don't want to be an Amazon or else it's like, how the fuck am I going to watch my game? It's like, unless you're planning on going to the bar every single time your team plays in the Conference Finals, you, you're screwed. It's like either go to a bar and sit there and watch the games every single time they play, or pay $10 for the month so you can watch your team play. Now, they are saying they're trying to make it to where, as I sit here, shortly after the NBA's announcement, the WNBA announced its own 11-year media rights partnership with Disney, Amazon Prime, and NBC, under which the league will receive about $200 million per year, a source told ESPN. That's going to be beginning with the 2025-2026 season. Disney package of the WNBA and NBA games will be available to stream on its digital platforms, including on Disney+, Plus, in select markets around the world. It also then goes on to say here, NBC's, they're going to be having coverage, like I said up earlier, they're going to be, have the All-Star game. They're going to have All-Star Saturday night. During the playoffs, they're going to have uh, up to 28 games of the first two rounds with at least half of them being on NBC. But now that all the info is out of the way, here's what I want to talk about when I would just give my perspective behind it. I think this is going to be a different way of like broadcasting the sport of basketball. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be new. It's going to be something to get used to. When it comes to the games on like ESPN, ABC, that, it's still going to be the same. It's still going to be your same uh, crew with Mike Breen, Doris Burke. I think it's still going to be there. Whatever, whoever they pick to replace JJ Redick, that remains to be seen. But with an NBC crew and an Amazon crew, here's my thing. We're going to watch the NBC games because the, obviously if you have basic cable, NBC is usually on basic cable. You're going to watch those games. But when it comes to the Amazon games, I'm wondering how low the ratings are going to go. Are people going to, that already have Amazon Prime, that are going to, probably people that are going to be desperate to watch the games, they're going to be like, I am putting on the games, I'm going to watch the games through that. They're, yeah, you're going to get some numbers through that. You're just not going to get the same as like what ESPN and NBC are probably going to get because it's basic cable. Another thing that people need to realize, what's the most important thing of TNT Sports? Inside the NBA, like I said with Shaq, Kenny, Ernie, Chuck, those dudes are funny. Those dudes are legends. They bring in numbers for the NBA. Like if you were to bring up the numbers of ASPN's NBA countdown with uh, who, who, Malik and Andrew, Stephen A. Smith, all those dudes, people watch kind of, but we don't watch in a rack, get involved. Halftime, we're just telling them, shut up and just put the game on. With TNT Sports, we're watching the pregame show. We're watching inside the NBA, watching uh, Kenny and Chuck race to the scoreboard and Shaq race to the board to like do like the po halftime show thing. We're watching them all bicker with each other and make jokes throughout the game. It just seems like those four have like a different attitude when it comes to just bringing eyes to the sport. TNT Sports, they tried to do like a B-team cast with, like, I forget who it was, Amani Stoudemire and whatever that dude's name is from Bleacher Report. They're, eh, they're not the best. 
I kind of like whenever they're nowhere to be seen, but when they're there, they kind of just, they're like the replacement for the A team. Now kind of wrap it up. Here's my final point. It's going to be, like I said, a weird change. I think number one, the most important thing, the fans, they're going to speak out and they're going to make uh, in, in everything about the NBA. Adam Silver, you better be listening. The fans are going to speak up. They're going to be in your ear saying, do not get rid of ESP or inside the NBA. And they've already came out trying to say, well, we've offered the guys from inside the NBA. We're going to make like a pregame show for, I think they said NBC. If they want to come along, come to inside the NBA or be still be on inside the NBA and come along to NBC, we'll still pay them the same salaries. Hell, we'll give them bonuses. They can come on over here and work for us. Charles Barkley already spoke out. I believe Shaq did as well. They already said they're not interested. Chuck made it most importantly known. He said, I love everybody at TNT Sports. I love the crew. I love all the people behind the scenes, the camera people, the producers, the directors. I love everybody there. I don't want to go have to learn a whole bunch of new faces, a whole bunch of new names, learn a whole bunch of different crew members, and try to get used to a whole new set, everything like that. He wants to just stick with what TNT has. And I feel like the NBA, they're going to try to be like, well, we'll offer you a shit ton of money. Come on. Just, you can't turn down this much money. Come to NBC. It's like, you turned down uh, us whenever we tried to match Amazon offers and you said, yeah, no, we're not interested. TNT Sports with inside the NBA, uh, those guys, they could easily look at the NBA and be like, hmm, that's a nice number, but we're not interested. All I'm going to say is this is a sad day for NBA. Inside the NBA, we're going to miss you boys. We're, we wish you could stay here. If they do stay here, obviously I'll, I'll talk about it, but if they do stay, oh, it's we're going to party. If they are actually gone and we're going to Amazon, like I said, I'm not a fan of Amazon. I don't like it. I don't have Amazon Prime. I don't think I'm ever going to get Amazon Prime, even if I was always ordering on there. I just don't feel like it's needed. But going forward, it's just, it's going to be different for watching basketball. That's all I'm going to say. But other than that, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Hopefully, you guys did go and enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entirety of today's video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have a different opinion, do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Do you think that the whole inside the NBA crew should go to NBC, not go to the M uh, NBC? Do you think that the NBA is being a bullshit uh, freaks of nature by getting rid of TNT Sports or they keep TNT Sports? Do you think this is like the saddest day ever for NBA like I do? Whatever your opinion may be whenever it comes to MB uh, NBC, Amazon, and all of them taking over the NBA and ripping it away from our hearts and our souls with TNT Sports, let me know your complete opinion down in the comment section down below. Be more than welcome to talk about with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I do poster and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified second to post. But without further ado, this has been Dental Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.